Hey guys, it's Michelle, and today I'm gonna to walk you through my brand new 2023 planning system using cloth and paper inserts. Now let's get started. Wait, 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 before we get started, I have to tell you, this candle is giving me so much zen right now. It smells amazing. If you work from home, I highly recommend it for your workspace. It is the scented soy candle and it's called Sparkling Yuzu, and I get it from Target. So guys, I recently got my cloth and paper order in and I was so excited. I was jumping around like a kid on Christmas. So I placed my order on Thanksgiving and Black Friday. So I placed two orders and it took a while for them to ship. And so I was waiting and waiting and it finally came in and I'm so excited to show you all the planning inserts that are gonna help me stay organized in 2023. So let me just say I'm not totally new to planning. I keep all of my personal and work appointments on my phone and that's so I can set recurring appointments and also set reminders. And I use a paper planning calendar with a weekly and monthly format. But what I want to do is switch to a more comprehensive catch-all planner that I can also use to record my meeting notes, lists, journaling, and goal setting. And so the planner I chose is the Louis Vuitton GM agenda in the Damier pattern. And guys, I love this agenda. The canvas feels amazing. It feels so good in my hands and I love using it every single day. And I was undecided between the Louis Vuitton desk agenda and the agenda, which is what I have here. They're two totally different planners, but ultimately I went with the agenda because it has a clasp so I can keep my planner closed when I'm not using it and it has a pen loop. The desk agenda in comparison doesn't have the rings in it, nor does it have a class or the pen loop. So I thought this one was uh, a better fit for my needs and what I'm going to use my planner for. So like I said, this is my catch-all planner. I'm going to use this for personal use and for work. So on the left side in the front pocket, I have business cards and this envelope is what my receipt came from when I bought this planner from the Louis Vuitton store. And it's so pretty. I love the texture. It says Louis Vuitton on it. Um, so I'm just going to keep it right here in the front of my planner to give it some color and some texture. Now in this front pocket is where I have my drop stickers. Uh, these are in the color beignet and and I really like these because they range in color from small, medium to large. And I use these to color code my calendar. In the back pocket, I have Excel keyboard shortcuts. I'm a treasury manager and I use Excel all the time and I love using keyboard shortcuts. So on this side, I have my dashboard. There is luxury and simplicity by cloth and paper. I love the aesthetic. It's nice and clean. It reminds me to keep things simple in my planning. And this is the first thing you see when I open my planner and I have it layered over my 2023 year in a glance. You can kind of see the months of the year kind of peeking through the frost of the top dashboard. And I like having the full year at a glance calendar in the front of my planner to reference while I'm working and planning out my year. After that, I have the conversions dashboard and holidays and observances. And what's really unique and nice about this calendar is it also has important dates like tax day, daylight savings time, uh, the first day of summer. So I think this is a really helpful reference tool too. I'm glad I put this in my planner. Then I have a contacts list and my inbox system. I went with a basic inbox dashboard and layered it with this gorgeous paint texture dashboard. I love the interesting texture that it adds to my planner and I love these two layered together. Now I had to research the inbox system just to figure out how to make it functional in my planner. And essentially the inbox is to catch all of your incoming tasks. So if you have a doctor's appointment or someone walks in your office and gives you um, a task to do, you would write that down on a sticky note and put it in your inbox until you either check it off of your list or transfer it to your monthly calendar. After that, I have my meeting note section. Now I decided to put the world clock dashboard in the section to use as a reference when I'm scheduling meetings or making phone calls to people in different time zones. And I have a little page flag here because I'm waiting on another cloth and paper order to come and I ordered the top tab dividers and I'm gonna put a divider tab here. So for now, I'm just using this page flag to mark the page for quick reference. And these are the actual meeting notes 
labeled inserts and I really like the layout of these inserts. There's a place for the subject and the date and time in the top. I can list all of my priorities or my speaking points here under the priority section. There's a dot grid section in the middle for my notes and I can use the bottom for follow up and action items. After that, I have my vertical weekly inserts and I went with the monthly side tab dividers. This is August through December and I have January through July in my planner. Each month has a cover sheet with a beautiful photo and grayscale that I think is so calming and each month has a different photo. And the month starts with a cover sheet where I can list out all of my goals for the month, everything that I intend to accomplish and complete for the month. I can write out all of my bills that are due. On this side, I can list any tasks and check them off as I complete them. And then we go into a full monthly view that I love because this is like the system that I'm used to using. So I'm very comfortable with this layout. And I use the calendar portion of the layout to list any deliverables and recurring tasks for the month. So I wrote out all of my paydays. I highlighted the holidays in pink and uh, the office is closed on MLK Day. So I wrote that on the calendar and highlighted that with a purple transparent page flag. At the bottom is a place for important dates. So I wrote my husband's birthday and highlighted that with a drop sticker and beignet. And I use the same color sticker on that day of the month to tie these two events together and use one of the Lux page flags and do not forget. So I remember to buy my husband's birthday gift. On this side is a place for notes. I wrote a cute little note to myself, hello gorgeous, as just a daily reminder to say something positive to myself and I'll see that every time I open my calendar. On this side, there's a place for notes and there's a December and February calendar at the very bottom. Then we get into the weekly layout. I went with a vertical Monday start. So you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Over here is a place for tasks and I can check them off as I complete them. And the last section in my planner is my vision board because this year I want to be more intentional about goal setting and planning a vision for my life. And I think using a vision board throughout the year will help me manifest those goals. And it starts with a cover sheet that says the belief that by making a vision of your hopes and dreams, you are more likely to follow them through. And there is definitely power in words. So. I think it's super important to have positive reinforcements that you look at every day. And the next page is where I can prepare for the year. So there's a place for me to add my word of the year, what I'm looking forward to, my focus, things to improve on. This year I will, so the things I plan to do this year, and then of course my goals for the year. On this side is just a note, uh, a dot grid section for note taking and it opens up to another collage. So I guess this first area is just to prepare. So this is the beginning part where you just kind of get all your thoughts together, all your goals and visions together and get your mind right. Uh, then it opens into another cover sheet that says a collage of images, pictures, or affirmations of one's dreams and desires. Then it opens to a large vision board across a two page spread with action words in each circle to give you an indication of what you should use each circle for. At the bottom on this side is a section to write goals and over here is a section for reflection. Then it opens up to another vision board uh, to use throughout the year. So it's a duplicate of the one we just saw. And this next cover sheet says a type of visual presentation or collage consisting of images, text, and samples of objects. And that opens into a place to take notes and then some additional vision boards to use throughout the year. So I think there are three more additional vision boards to use. And the section ends in a year of review. So this is a section where I can use to reflect on how I felt the year went. So at the top, it says this year was important dates, 
things to remember, accomplishments, how I'm different now than I was when the year started, and of course the goals for next year. And in the very back of my planner is where I put my frosted credit card holder. And this is where what I'm using to store my stickers and page flags. So these are my, so these are the Lux page flags. This one says, do not forget. This one says, note it. And I also have the mini shape stickers and avant-garde. So I have dot stickers, drop stickers, hexagon, square, corner stickers, and tape stickers. And in the back of my planner, I have some Tiffany colored sticky notes. I love Tiffany, so this is my go-to color for sticky notes. And then there's another pocket here that you can use to store documents or store some of your sticky notes. And so this is what the planner looks like with all of my inserts inside. I do have more room to add more. I have some journaling notes sheets coming soon. So I'm going to add those to the planner soon and then that should be it. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.